Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Belgabin, Principal of Simply Improve Health, and I help people to train better and longer and recover more quickly, have better sleep, and enjoy better quality of life using simple plant-based products and simple techniques. Tonight, I'm going to share a little bit of um, information with you. Um, I've been checking out something um, that has come, come my way, and it's quite interesting. So I thought I'd share what I've learned so far. I'm still in the learning stages, but um, I think you'll find it quite interesting. I'm going to be talking today about redox signaling molecules. And you're probably scratching your head wondering, what the hell is that? Well, I'm going to tell you. Redox uh, signaling molecules are these little molecules that we have um, in abundance when we're children. I mean, think about children are full of energy. They heal quickly. Um, they're, they're just bundles of, of, of energy and growth. They grow quickly. And it's redox signaling molecules that are responsible for that. The, that's the good news. Um, it's something that the body produces naturally. Um, you know, no chemicals, no nothing. It's the body um, uh, being able to, all of the cells of the body being able to communicate with one another effectively so that all the organs and, and muscular muscles and the muscle, musculoskeletal system is what I'm trying to say, um, all function well because all of the cells are able to um, repair and reproduce themselves. Now, the bad news is, is that from the age of 12 onwards, we um, produce less and less of those redox uh, <clears throat> signaling molecules which means that um, there's less communication between the cells of the body. Um, they are less effective at being able to grow and repair themselves and can even go a bit haywire in the case of, of um, illnesses like cancer. So by the time we are in our 40s and 50s, we have lost about 60% of our capacity to um, produce these molecules, which means that um, cells don't um, re uh, renew themselves and replace themselves as they used to when we were, when we were children. And um, due to things like pollution and stress and um, toxins in the environment um, predating our systems, that means that the, the production of redox, redox signaling molecules is even lower. So that's what they are and a bit about what they do. And I've been investigating um, what, um, how this, this, uh, these, these molecules uh, play a, a, a role in our lives. But also um, I found out during the course of this research that this, this technology, while the technology is new, Information and research on redox signaling molecules is not. In fact, research has been going on since about the end of World War II. So the concept um, and the knowledge of these molecules is not new. What is new is um, a new biotechnology that's come in, um, into play that it, for the first time is able to uh, produce these redox signaling molecules outside of the body, which has never been able to be um, accomplished before, and not only that, but be able to suspend it in a form that can be ingested back into the body so that um, the body's ability to, to produce these redox uh, molecules uh, starts to increase. Now, like I said, this is something I've just been checking out for the, for the last few months, but I can tell you um, what has been happening for me since I've been taking them for the last, say, two and a half months or so. Um, I sleep better. I sleep much better. I find that um, little niggles and aches and pains um, 
either don't bother me anymore or if I get a knock, I recover much more quickly. Um, something that <laughs> even my husband noticed a difference. He said my skin became seems very, very soft. And I said, well, wasn't it soft before? He said, yes, but now it's really soft. And you know, ladies, you know, <laughs> men don't notice these things at all. So for him to even notice and remark on the fact that um, my skin felt a lot softer than usual um, was um, one of the, the bonuses from having these um, injections, if you will, or daily, daily doses of uh, redox signaling mo molecules. The other thing that I noticed is that um, I find that um, the lumps and bumps of cellulite ladies, you're going to love this, um, have seemed to be um, reducing. And in fact, I found out that research eight, um, done with thousands of women over of several years found that um, in an eight week studies that women noticed that their cellulite was much reduced and improved um, you, because of the um, activity of these redox signaling molecules because it balances um, and increases the communication between all of the cells. So what one cell knows, all the cells know. So that if there's any kind of imbalance due to illness or to injury, which is great for, um, I, by the way, I would add, is great for athletes. It helps you um, to be able to, to train better, um, train longer, and recover more quickly um, after um, your sports performance. So um, I haven't been training lately, but I do find that I have a lot more stamina. So I'm not, um, I'm sleeping less, but then it's very hot. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sweating. Um, it's very hot these days. So sleep is, a, is at a, a, a premium. But um, when the weather is more comfortable for sleeping, I find that my sleep has greatly improved. So with you about redox molecules um, and if you'd like to find out more about um, uh, the redox signaling molecules and what they can actually do for your your general health and sports performance you need to get in contact with me and I'll tell you all about it so there you have it um, it could very well be that these um, little molecules could be the actual um, fountain of youth, um, because being that the cells are able to better communicate, that means that their cellular growth and repair um, happens much more rapidly. There's a much greater turnover, like when we were children. Um, so if you're looking for something that will help you to feel better and look better, that's the other thing. Um, you can't tell, um, I'm full of sweat, but you can't tell, but the lines that I had here along on, on either side of my nose have actually reduced since in the two and a half months that I've been um, working with this, this new um, product I've been uh, researching. So if you want to learn more, you want to find out about how you might be able to get rid of that cellulite that you can't shift, um, how you can get rid of some of those wrinkles, and be able to perform better when you do your sports, get in contact. Hi, Harry. It's good to see you, as usual. <laughs> Hope you're well. And so that's my little, my little spiel about redox signaling molecules. If you're curious, like I said, get in contact with me, and I'll tell you a little bit more about them. And have a great evening, a great week. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.